just in time. We're just about to play a song we wrote. Come on. All right, let's get this concert started. <laughs> a one and a two and a one, two, three, four. TK? Thanks! Oh, my whammy bar's bent! Uh, maybe a little, but how does it sound? Uh... Ah! Great! Let's keep playing! Orbit, my guitar's not supposed to sound like that. Oh. And now the whammy bar's stuck in there. Do you have another guitar you can use so we can keep playing? No. I'll have to fix this one. I just need the right tool. Oh, nope. Hmm. Nuh uh. Uh, definitely not. <sighs> I have five bazillion tools, and not one of them is a whammy bar wrench. Maybe there's a planet nearby where you can borrow the right tool to fix your guitar. And we can give our other instruments a tune up, too. My drum's sounding a little glum. Yeah. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can fix TK's guitar. Well, that sounds like music to my ears. Let's see where you can go. The fruit planet? That's a good place to fix a snack, but not to fix an instrument. The magic planet? We want to put on a concert, not a magic show. Now that looks like a good place to fix an instrument. Yeah. <laughs> the repair shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. over to it, press a button, and the machine does the rest. Here, I'll show you. Wow! Cool! Wow! Huh? Orbit, what are you doing? Fixing all our instruments! No, Orbit, that's too many things for it to fix all at once! Uh, that can't be good 
for our instruments. Oh, no. Once it starts fixing something, you can't shut it off. Fix-It Machine needs fixing. Don't worry, guys. I'm on it. I'll start by reprogramming the robot arms. It'll take a few minutes to get them working properly. A few loud minutes. Orb, are you hearing what I'm hearing? It's so musical. need my microphone if I can find something else to make my voice sound louder. La, 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 la. Oh! La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Nice! Awesome! <laughs> okay, almost done. La, 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 huh? la, la. Rob? Emma? Orbit? Wow! This is neat! But don't you want to play with our instruments? We do, TK, but we're finding all kinds of stuff here to make music with. Try it! It's fun! La, 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 la. But I really wanted to play my guitar. Oh, although I guess I could make my own music maker. <laughs> wow, neat! I think we have more than enough music makers to play our song. What do you say? Yeah! yeah. Less jelly. I mean, jam. Mission accomplished! Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were having a jam session when TK's guitar got broken, so we went to the repair shop planet. We tried to fix it with the fix-it machine, only we ended up breaking even more instruments. While we waited for TK to fix the fix-it machine, we realized lots of things make nifty sounds, not just musical instruments. So we used those things to play our song, and we had an awesome jam. We learned that if something makes a sound, it can also make music. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Repair Shop Planet! Okay, are you
you ready to play? We sure are, Rob. You know it. How about you, Orbit? Are you ready to play? Jump! Look out! <laughs> yes! I got the golden banana! I just love Banana Bonkers 3. It's my favorite video game in the whole galaxy. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun, but we're hoping that you'd like to play with us instead. Yeah, we need four players to play Robo Go Fish. Uh, no thanks, I'm not hungry. I had Robo Fish for lunch. Huh? Gee, Orbit's not paying attention to anything, except his game. How can we get him to play with us? I think I know how. Watch this. Hey, Orbit, how would you like to go to a place where you can have tons of fun without video games? <laughs> sure, sounds fun. Whoa, golden banana! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a planet full of games, but no video games allowed. Sounds like a fun mission to me. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The museum planet? We can't play inside a museum. We might break something. <laughs> Book planet? Hmm, no. It's rare to play and make noise while people are reading. The Game Planet! That's the one! <laughs> yeah! Yes, the Game Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the game planet. Wow, cool. Look at all the games. Wee! There's something fun for everyone to do on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> has lots of other games you can play. Orbit, you've got to try this. But I'm almost at the fourth level. Hey, can I borrow your charger, TK? Huh? Sure, but, uh, thanks. I can use the rocket's batteries to recharge my game super fast. I'll be banana bunking again in no time. Yeah, and not playing with us. Hmm. <laughs> You know, Orbit, while your game is recharging, you could play with us. I'd like to, but I want to play my game the second it's charged. Oh, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> yeah! <Whoa! Hey! laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Sure are having fun. But is it 
more fun than bonking bananas? Well, I don't know. <gasps> huh? <laughs> okay, now that looks like fun. I'm sure my video game can wait. Hey, guys, save a ride for me. your friends is a lot more fun than playing with... <gasps> My video game! It's all charged up! <laughs> Orbit, you're running too far! The finish line is this way! Come back! It works! Yahoo! It's time to bonk some bananas! And a snack would go great with all this banana bonking. <laughs> hey, Rocket! Open the door! Ah! Orbit, what's wrong? Well, when I used Rocket's batteries to charge my game, I think I used too much. Look! Rocket, open up! Oh dear, Rocket doesn't have enough energy to open the hatch. And if the hatch won't open, we can't get back inside. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure we'll figure this out. All we have to do is put our heads together. And come up with a powerful idea. But we need to think fast. The sun is going down. It'll be dark soon. That's it, the sun. We can use solar power to recharge the ship. Solar power is energy from the sun. We can use it to recharge the ship after collecting it with this. Huh? It's working! Yippee! Hooray! It stopped! How come? Oh no! My solar panel isn't big enough to charge Rocket's batteries all the way. Aw, and we were so close. All we needed was just a smidge more energy. Hmm. That's all we need to open the hatch? Just a smidge more? Orbit, this is not the time to be thinking about your video game. Now, to reverse the charge. nice of you to help charge Rocket back up, Orbit. But now your video game doesn't work. Oh, uh, that's okay. As long as I have you guys to play with, I don't need to bonk any more bananas today. We'll play any game you like, Orbit. And you know what else? I think this is another big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the Game Planet to help show Orbit how to have fun without playing video games. Orbit wanted to wait for his game to charge up, but when he saw how much fun we were having, he was all charged up to play too. Orbit gave up his video game to help recharge Rocket and learn that having fun with friends, not video games, is the best fun of all. My, what a powerful mission that was. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Yay! Goodbye, Game Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We 
we have an emergency. Our mouse friend Squeak has lost his wind-up key. He's already started slowing down. What will happen if he stops? We'll have to wind him up again. But to do that, we need the key. Oh. It's not in here. We're in here. And it's not in here either. Ooh! Hey! What's that clicking sound? Maybe your treads need oil light. I'll do it for you later. Right now, we have to find that key. But we looked everywhere. Squeak's really slowing down fast. We won't be able to wind him up again without that key. Ooh. Hey, maybe we could find Squeak a new key. That's not only a great idea, TK. It sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find another key to wind up Squeak before he stops. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Is there anything on the exercise planet that can help Squeak? Exercise helps keep us going, but a wind-up mouse like Squeak needs a key. <laughs> Do you think there are keys on the music planet? Well, pianos have keys, but not the kind we need to wind up Squeak. That looks like a place where we might find a new key for Squeak. Yes, the wind-up planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the wind up planet. Passing space bugs. Everything on this planet winds up. There has to be a key here somewhere that will fit Squeak. Ooh. Don't worry, Squeak. We'll find another key to wind you up, and you'll be zipping around in no time. Then maybe we can find out how to stop this clicking. It's driving me crazy. Remember, the key we're looking for has to be the right size to fit Squeak. See? That key is way too big. Ooh! And this one is way too small. Ooh. <laughs> hey, over there! Come on! <laughs> this race car key looks like it might fit Squeak. <clears throat> huh? It fits! down if he wanted to. Well, what are we going to do? We've got to get that key out. Aha! <laughs> 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 uh <-huh. laughs> Quick thinking, TK! Don't worry, little guy. We'll find you a new key. One that really works. 
Okay, gang, we're gonna find a key and we're gonna find it fast. Let's go. Orbit. It's a wind-up bee, like everything here. And look! This key looks just the right size. Awesome! Hey! A mouse that can fly! Now that's cool! Huh? Oh no! I forgot that bees can sting too! <laughs> Every key we try changes Squeak into something else. The right key must be here somewhere. I can feel it. Maybe we're just not looking hard enough. Maybe we can... Ah! What is that clicking noise? Wait a minute. When did your tread start clicking, Orbit? Uh, around the same time Squeak lost his key. That's what I thought. I think I know where Squeak's key is. But we looked everywhere and couldn't find it. That's because we couldn't see it, but we could hear it. Huh? huh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was Squeak's key that was making the clicking sound all along. I must have accidentally rolled over it, and it got stuck in my tread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quit squirming, Squeak. That tickled. Squeak, you're finally all wound up, and still the little mouse pal we know and love. I guess that means a big mission Yay! accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, Squeak lost his wind-up key, and we couldn't find it on the rocket. So we went to the wind-up planet to find him a new one. But each key we tried changed Squeak's personality. The yellow key turned him into a buzzing bee. And the black key turned Squeak into a pirate, and he tried to steal the rocket. But then we found that Squeak's key was stuck in Orbit's treads all along. So we learned that sometimes, if you take the time to look, you'll find that the answer to your problem is right there in front of you. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. 
female aviator, or pilot. <laughs> she flew airplanes just like your model, Rob. It's a tail dragger airplane. Is that what this is? Cool. <laughs> I think so. I love all airplanes. Tail draggers in tricycle gear planes, oh. biplanes and jets. Wow, <gasps> you know a lot about planes, TK. I just wish we could see a real one. Maybe we can. There must be some place in the galaxy where we can see real old-fashioned airplanes. Yeah, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see real airplanes. That sounds like a high flying idea. Let's see where you can go. Spare part planet? That's a good place to find airplane parts, but we don't want to build one. Book planet? We don't want to read about airplanes, we want to see them. The Aviation Planet! That's it! That's the perfect place to see old airplanes! Yes, the Aviation Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! One is a tricycle gear airplane. Oh, uh huh. And this one is a biplane. Oh. That one's a jet. Oh. <laughs> Those are tail dragger airplanes, similar to your model, Rob. Rob? Hey, wait for me! This is bad. 
bad. Very bad. Uh, I can't watch. is one thing, and landing a plane is a whole other bucket of bolts. Landing? I never even thought of that! I'm pretty sure Rob and Emma haven't thought of it either. Rob? Emma? Tell me you know how to land a plane! Land? Uh, well, not exactly. Rob? I've landed the rocket plenty of times, but not an old airplane. Rockin' robots. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. All right. Stay calm, follow my instructions, and you'll land the plane just fine. Roger that, TK. We're all ears. Okay. First, line up with the runway and put your flaps down. That'll slow you down. Check. Check. Now, pull back on the throttle. That'll slow you down even more. Roger that. Now, Choose a landing spot on the runway. Emma, you come down first. Ugh, I can't watch. That's it. Now cut the power and pull the throttle back. Okay, now what? Hit the brake. you're okay. Thank goodness you know so much about planes. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have landed safely. That's the plain truth, all right. We shouldn't have been up there. You saved us. Hooray for TK! I say this is <laughs> one sky-high mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Only Rob and I got carried away. Up, up and away, into the air. Flying the plane was fun, but landing it was a whole other matter. Thankfully, TK was there to help us. Following TK's instructions, we landed safely. Next time, we'll pay more attention to rules and not get carried up, up and away. 
A soaring mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Aviation Planet! Pastor Orbit, Pastor! <laughs> I'm giving it all she's got! Today is Fun Run Day, and TK's getting into last minute training. I'm feeling super fast today. Nobody's gonna be able to keep up with me. Your wheel sure is speedy, TK. But running long distances takes more than just a fast wheel. You'll need endurance, too. And with my super alien lung power, there'll be no stopping me. Endurance? Endurance means having the strength to keep running, even when you're really tired. Super lung power, speedy wheels, they're cool, all right but not as cool as my rocket boots. A few big jumps and I'll be at the finish line faster than you can say hop, rock, and robots. I'll win for sure. Uh, guys, I thought this was supposed to be a fun run. It's not all about winning. But seeing who's the fastest can be fun too. Uh, well, what are we waiting for? Let's have ourselves a fantastic fun run. Yes, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go somewhere we can have ourselves a fantastic fun run. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. The ocean planet. I may be fast, but not fast enough to run on water. The fix-it planet? That's a good place to fix a runny nose, but not the place for running robots. Or aliens. <laughs> Yay! That place looks wonderful. <laughs> yes, the jogging planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. something before we start.
guys can't keep up that pace forever. They're going to tire pretty soon. Ah, the countryside sure is beautiful, Squeak. I hope the rest of the gang are enjoying it, too. <laughs> vroom, vroom, vroom! Woohoo! I love speed! <sighs> Phew! I'm so far ahead, I can't see Rob, Emma, or Orbit anywhere. I think I deserve a little rest. <gasps> <sighs> It sure is peaceful here. Huh, is that TK I see up ahead? TK? <sighs> ha! With TK asleep, is as good as one. Huh? Uh, oh. hmm. uh. <sighs> oh, great. <sighs> nice going, Rob. Hi, Rob. What you doing? Oh, hi, Emma. <laughs> I think I might have overdone it with my rocket jumping. Now I'm stuck on this crane. Wow, that's too bad, Rob. I'd love to hang and chat. <laughs> Get it? Hang and chat? But I've got a race to win. See you later. Emma, come back! That's not fair! Oh. Wow, with TK fast asleep and Rob just hanging around, winning this race will be easier than I thought. Wait. I know that smell. That's... Ice cream! With all this exercise, I've sure built up an appetite. A little ice cream is just what I need. Well, maybe not quite so little. <gasps> mm -hmm. Strawberry! trying so hard to beat TK, I rocketed myself into a sticky situation. And I was so sure I would win, I thought I deserved a little treat. But my eyes were a little bigger than my tummy. Boy, I guess this wasn't as much fun as we thought it would be. Hmm, I don't know. A nice nap in the summer sun, a hopping good time in the fresh air, super tasty ice cream, and I took some wonderful photographs too. I'd say we all had fun in our own way. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I'd say that's one fantastic mission <laughs> accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Day. 
so we all went to the jogging planet for an afternoon run. But some of us were thinking more about winning the race than just having fun. In the end, it was Orbit and Squeak who crossed the finish line first, and he reminded us all that it's not winning that's important, but enjoying our time together and having fun. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! I'm missing is my Galaxy Beaver Scout's Spelunking Badge. Spelunking? <laughs> Spelunking. It's another name for cave exploring, Orbit. You're great at exploring, Rob. Getting your badge should be easy peasy. I hope so, TK. I really want to add it to my... Hey, where did my hat go? <gasps> you guys didn't take it, did you? <laughs> uh, you may be great at exploring the galaxy, Rob but you'll need to work on your finding skills if you're gonna be a good spelunker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes when I get really excited, I forget where I put things. Maybe getting my spelunking badge is going to be harder than I thought. You just need to work on staying calm and not jumping to conclusions. Maybe some hands-on cave exploring practice would help. Yeah, that's a great idea, TK. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you yeah. know what that means. Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where I can practice my spelunking skills. Oh, I love cave exploring. Let's see where you can go. The Winter Planet? We want to investigate caves, not igloos. Hmm, the Basketball Planet? Fun for slam dunking, yeah. but not spelunking. <laughs> Cave planet! Yeah. Perfect! Yes, the cave planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. should always bring along a compass. No problem. Now we'll always know which direction we're heading. Uh, did you hear that? It sounded like a flying cave frog. Uh, frogs can't fly, Orbit. And there's certainly nothing to be afraid of. Clearly you've never met a cave frog before. They eat your crayons. <laughs> That's just silly. Don't worry, Orbit. I won't let anything happen to your crayons. Come on, let's explore. Oh, that sounds like a hungry cave frog. He's drooling for my crayon. <laughs> Calm down, Orbit. We can't just jump to conclusions, remember? We need to check out all the possibilities first. That's a good tip, TK. Tip. That's it. It's water dripping from the tip of that stalactite. Stalactites are a type of stone that forms from dripping water. 
See? I told you it wasn't a... Uh... Ah! <gasps> Cave Frog! Ah! 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 Wait a minute. Why are we running? Frogs aren't scary. Ah! Orbit, slow down! Yeah. Hey, where did Amantike go? Look, it's TK's compass. You don't think the cave frog got them, do you? <laughs> no, Orbit. Emma and TK are as safe as your... Uh -uh. Huh, where did your crayons go? The cave frog! <laughs> I think we lost the cave frog. Uh-oh. Uh and my compass. <gasps> and where are Robin Orbit? Shouldn't we go back and look for them? I don't know, TK. What if we get lost too? Hmm. Maybe there's a way to help them find us. Yeah! TK! Emma! Listen. It sounds like something flying. Like a flying cave frog. I hate it when I'm right. Huh? Uh, I can't see it. Can you? No, but I'm not trying very hard. Hmm. Hmm. What lives in a cave and can fly? Uh, a duck? Bat. Um, have you seen our friends, Mr. Bat? We're trying to figure out which direction they went. Uh, maybe he needs a compass. <gasps> huh? Uh, hey, where did huh? the... <gasps> that cave frog stole our compass! Come on, Orbit, enough is enough. Let's go find this frog. so we can go back to the rocket. <gasps> uh, I think it's the other way, Rob. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> oh, wait, are you sure? Am I sure? No, I'm Orbit. I'm never sure. How will we find our way out of here without a compass? We're doomed! Take it easy, Orbit. We just need to stay calm and retrace our steps. Mm. Huh? Now what's he doing? Hmm. Maybe he wants us to follow. Hey, that's the bad noise again. We're heading in the right direction. Listen, hmm? remember that sound? The dripping stalactites. I can see the way out. But what about Emma and TK? We still haven't seen them. Rob, uh, oh. Orbit! I can't see them, but I sure can hear them. <laughs> this way. Orbit! Rob. You made it out! We were so worried about you both. We're okay. We just got a little carried away. Mm -hmm. You know what happens when I get excited. Yeah, you lose your hat and your friends. <laughs> Wait! Sometimes when I get excited, I misplace things. <gasps> oh, the cave frog didn't take our things. I must have tossed them in my backpack when we were running around. Oh, I'll never earn my Spelunker's badge. I'm terrible at cave exploring. How can you say that? You showed us all of these amazing things. And you stayed calm and found your way back out of the cave without even a compass. Congratulations, Rob. You've earned your Galaxy Beaver Scout Spelunking Badge. Woohoo! Thanks!
Thanks, everyone. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to work on my spelunking skills, so we headed to the cave planet to practice. Sometimes when you're exploring a new place, it's easy to get overexcited and let your imagination get the better of you. It can cause you to misplace things or even lose your way. But if you stay calm and don't jump to conclusions, you'll often find that exploring new places isn't scary at all. Great job, Rob. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Cave Planet! Hello, everyone. It's been raining for hours. Oops. Oh. Sorry, Rob. TK and I were trying to cheer up with a game of catch. weather's really getting us all down. We need to go somewhere it's not raining. Somewhere we can play. And build things. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Somewhere it's not raining, so we can cheer up and play and build stuff. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Water planet. <laughs> but water planet is still wet, and I think we've had enough water with all this rain. Squeak would like to go to Cheese Planet. Mmm, sounds tasty, but it might be a little stinky. I don't think Cheese Planet is where we need to go. What about this planet? It has cold places and warm places. Oh, look. There's a desert there. Hooray! I like dessert. Not dessert. Desert. A dessert is something you eat. A desert is a place where it almost never rains. You chose weather planet. Great idea. Hooray! Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Emma, 
This isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be rainy, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. something that can help. Hmm. <gasps> it's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! It looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. Much better. Not hot at all. to walk on. are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, rocket. You can do it too. But we still need a place to play. Not too hot and not too cold. I know. Follow me. This is great. The perfect place to play. And build. And it's not raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> <laughs> Not too warm and not too cool. Mission complete. 
control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> it was raining, and we wanted to find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat, that's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains, but the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right, back inside. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye, Weather Planet! Woohoo! Try to find an actual fair, then you wouldn't have to work at anything. Why didn't I think of that? There must be some place where we can ride some real rides. High ones, too. Uh, high ones? Yes, TK, really high ones. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can ride some real fun fair rides. Looking for some fair play, hmm? Okay, let's see where you can go. The horse planet? We want to ride roller coasters, not horses. Garden planet? We only think to ride there are tractors. Yes, the Fair Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
should go first. <laughs> There's no rush, after all. Don't be silly. This is your favorite. And the sooner we win, the sooner we can go on the ride. Oh. Er, uh... Whoa! Try the elevator ride. Wait, uh, why don't we uh, uh, have a snack first? But we should ride the elevator ride now. What if there's a lineup or a power outage? Or is that a candy apple stand? Oh, candy apples! Where? Where? Mmm, they look yummy. Tasty treats, tasty treats. Look at all my tasty treats. Isn't this awesome? It's awesome, all right. Let's take our time and enjoy. They have red candy apples, maple apples, chocolate apples. Look at all these candy apples! Orbit, you ruined our snack. Uh, sorry. It's okay. We can use up our tickets and get lots more. <laughs> I think we'll have to make snacks back on the rocket, TK. We need to keep some tickets for rides, remember? Come on! <laughs> mm, I remember. How high do you think it goes? Oh, I hope it goes all the way up to the clouds. No, higher than the clouds. Higher than the clouds? Hey, we almost walked right by the teacup ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty please with nuts and bolts on top? Let's ride it now. Well, okay. Teacup, TK? Oh, well, then maybe we could uh, play the hammer game again or have another snack. Is everything okay, TK? Oh, everything's great. I'm fine. Off to the elevator ride. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared. Scared? Well, why didn't you say so? You don't have to ride it if you don't want to, TK. We understand. Really? Phew. Okay, then. Um, what are we waiting for? I want to go straight to the top! You got it. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five! Wow! It's amazing up here! Hey, look! There's our rocket! <laughs> they sure sound like they're having fun up there. It's your turn, Rob. I'll work the controls. You two ready? Wait, I think I'd like to try. Really? As long as we go up slowly, okay? Of course! You're gonna love it. I'll hold your hand if you want, and we can come down whenever you want to. Okay, thanks. Ready? Here we go. This isn't so bad. Level two, please. This is fun. Higher, please. It's okay to be scared. Do you want to go down now? No. I just need a second. Hey, look! There's the snack shop! Oh, yeah! And there's the teacup ride. Higher, please, Emma! 
<laughs> it's so pretty up here. A little higher, please. TK, we can't go any higher. We're at the top. We are? That means I did it. I really did it. Yay, TK! Yay! <laughs> was a blast. It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it would be. I guess I just needed to try it. Yeah! You did great, TK. What an awesome ride. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Well, today we visited the fair planet. Orbit, Emma, and I were excited to ride the elevator, but TK was scared. It took her a while to admit it, but she finally told us. When TK saw how much fun it was, she decided to give the ride a try. She found that by going slowly and taking things step by step, the ride wasn't scary at all. It was fun. I'm glad I gave it a try, with the help of my friends. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fair Planet! Where is everybody? Just getting salad tongs. I've got the dressing. Ah! Whoa! Ta-da! You need to be more careful. I mean, what's more important, salad or safety? It's a toss-up. Get it? <laughs> Come on, let's make a super yummy, good for the tummy salad. Um, I've got bad news. We're all out of tomatoes and cucumbers <gasps> and lettuce. What? A salad isn't a salad without lettuce. Wow, he's serious about lettuce. Are you sure we're all out? I'm sure. <sighs> we go through more lettuce than a drove of rabbits. How can you be talking about driving rabbits at a time like this? <laughs> a drove of rabbits is just another way of saying a group, Orbit. What we need is our own vegetable garden. Then we'd never run out. That's a great idea. We could grow our own carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers. And lettuce! A whole drove of lettuce! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can plant our own vegetable garden. That sounds like a vegilicious idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bath planet? No, that's where we go to get clean after we plant a garden. The beach planet? That won't do. Vegetables need soil to grow, not sand. The garden planet, that's perfect. Yes, the garden planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the garden plant. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! What 
is this doing here? This is a community garden, Orbit. Lots of folks come here to plant vegetables, so somebody must have left it out. Uh... Somebody wasn't thinking about safety. Hey, look at this spot. No one's using it. It would make a good garden, don't you think? Sure, but we'll have to prepare the soil first. It needs to be dug up and turned over using shovels. I can do that. I can help. Um... Also, we'll need a plan. We need to figure out what to plant and where to put it. That can be our job, TK. Come on, let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yay. I'm happy to report the garden site is ready to go, Captain Soil. Awesome, Major Dirt. Operation Veg, very excellent garden, is underway. And while you were digging, we figured out where plants should go. Yes, we organized the plants into rows, so we'll know what each vegetable is when it sprouts out of the ground. One question, Agent Sprout. What's with the chicken wire? Are we growing chickens? <laughs> of course not. It's to keep out the rabbits. Rabbits love vegetables. Good idea. We don't want anyone or anything eating our lettuce. <laughs> right. Now all we need to do is plant the seeds and seedlings. Hey, I know. Let's have a race to see who can plant the seeds the fastest. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Oh! 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 Oops, sorry. Oh, I wish everyone would stop leaving garden tools lying around. I win, I'm the fastest, so I'm the... <gasps> Ouch! Are you okay? Are you sure? Well, okay. But you should be more careful where you're stepping. Ah! Uh, Captain Soil? Huh? Rob? What are you doing? Wait a minute. There's something funny going on. What's he doing? Oh, I get it. He's pretending to be a rabbit. Ha ha. Very funny, Rob. Uh, are you sure he's joking around? Maybe that bonk on his head was harder than we thought. Rob? Uh-oh. I think you're right. Maybe Rob has a loose wire. Hmm. <gasps> he thinks he's a rabbit. Worse, he's a rabbit. We have to do something! Don't panic. We'll find a way to fix this. Let's think. Hmm. Maybe we can rejig his wires. Or hit his reset button. Rob? Oh, no! Ah! What happened? Rob isn't just a robot. He's a Destructo Bunny! We've got to find him! Come on! Here, Robert, Robert, Robert! Oh, we really need to take safety more seriously around here. I know you're there. I hear you, Rob. Ah! You're not Rob! Trap. Um. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for later. Here comes Rob. I hope this works. Ready? Now! <gasps> Robo sticks! He's too quick! We'll never catch him. He's too fast! Put that there! Rob! Are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Woohoo! You're okay! You're okay! Rob isn't a robot anymore! <laughs> 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 
A rabbit? Would you believe us if we said you thought you were a rabbit? A rabbit? You mean the animal with floppy ears that hops? <laughs> That's silly. Uh-huh. But it's true. Huh? We think one of your wires came loose when you hit your head on that rake. That rake? For real? Wow. I guess I should be more careful, huh? We should all be more careful. <laughs> looks amazing! And now that the garden tools are put away, no one will get hurt. Right! Now we'll have yummy vegetables to look forward to. And you know what that means. We'll have lettuce! <laughs> yes, and it means this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to the garden planet to plant a vegetable garden. Only I walked into a rake and, well, can you believe it? I thought I was a rabbit. When I bumped my head again, I returned to normal. But it made us realize how important it is to pay attention to safety. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Lemon juice planet? Hmm, I'm kind of sour on that idea. <laughs> crepe planet? Sounds close, but we want grapes, not crepes. <laughs> the grape juice planet! The perfect place to find our favorite movie time treat! <laughs> Yay! Yes, the grape juice planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the grape juice planet. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh? Hmm. This 
looks like a giant juicer. But there's no juice inside. Maybe Mission Control got the planets mixed up. Where's all the grape trees? <laughs> Grapes don't grow on trees, Orbit. They grow on vines. And we're surrounded by grape vines. All we need to do is pick some of the grapes, squash them up, and we'll have our own homemade grape juice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Awesome! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Huh? The grapes are all gone. What happened? Who took them all? Hey, I think I found some. Grapes! 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 What is that? Grapes! 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 Oh, look how cute! Those crows want grapes too. Grapes! 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 Huh? Grapes! Grapes! We sure do! Grapes, They're eating grapes, them all! Grapes! 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 So those crows are the ones taking all the grapes. They're not leaving any for us. <sighs> yeah. Don't they have any manners? Haven't you ever heard of sharing? These grapes aren't just for you. So, yeah. Uh, we were wondering if we could have some grapes, too. So we can make grape juice. Hey! Grapes! 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 Shoot. Orbit, are you okay? I'm okay, but they're not sharing with us. And it looks like they're going to eat the last of the grapes. Ooh, those sneaky crows. Maybe I have something in my tummy trunk to shoot them off. Straw? This won't help. Uh, sticks? Hmm, that won't do. Uh, huh? What are we going to do with the box of old clothes? <gasps> TK, you're brilliant. Alone, these things won't help, but together, just what we need. Grapes, 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 grapes. Okay, Orbit, you distract the crows while TK, Emma, and I get set up. Um, okay. I sure hope this works. Ooh! Grapes! 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 Come get your grapes! Super juicy, delicious, yummy grapes! Grapes? Grapes? Grapes! 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 See? Alone, the straw, sticks, and clothes didn't work. But together, they make a scarecrow. But will the scarecrow work? The crows weren't afraid of us. But we're just little. Our scarecrow is big. Grapes? Grapes? Oh, crows! Grapes? Over here! Grapes! 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 Yummy grapes this way! should show them how to share. There's still enough grapes here for everybody. Oh, Mr. Crows! Would you like to share some grapes with us? There's enough here for everyone.
make some new friends, but we now have our yummy grape juice for movie time. Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted grape juice for movie time, but we were all out. So we went to the Grape Juice Planet for more. Grape juice is made by squashing up juicy grapes, but all of the planet's grapes were missing. It turned out that a flock of hungry crows was eating them all up. Since they wouldn't share, we decided to build a scarecrow to help chase them away. But that's when we realized we were acting just like the crows. We weren't sharing either. We decided to give some of the grapes back to the crows, and they returned the favor by helping us make grape juice. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, crow friends. Goodbye, Grape Juice Planet. <laughs> Yay! You can do it! Go, TK! I don't believe it. TK wins again. <laughs> Stick the tail on the robot is my favorite game. It also happens to be our only game, and you're too good at it. Want to play again? Uh, <sighs> no thanks. I'm tired of playing Stick the Tail. Me too. I wish we had a new game to play. Hmm, maybe there's somewhere we can go to find a new fun game to play. Yes! Sure! Great! Okay then, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where you can play a new fun game. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The cheese planet? We don't want to play cheesy games. <laughs> the spring planet? Nothing springs to mind here, either. Looks like the perfect place. Yes, the game planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. in the whole robot galaxy, you can play to win today's big surprise prize! What is it? What's the big surprise prize? Now, if I told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? I want to win it, whatever it is! Me too! Me three! Then let the games begin! It's time to play Musical High Chairs! Woo! 
dance around the chairs. When the music stops, hop on and you're safe. Miss a chair and you're out. Start the music. Next round. Uh, whoa! <laughs> huh? Huh? Red is out! Hold on to your seats, folks! It's the final round! Time to play Sticky Jump Challenge! Closest to the bullseye wins. Okay, what do we throw? I think we throw ourselves. Huh? huh? Sticky Jump Challenge? your best shot. <laughs> Red and orange time! It's one each for you, me, and Rob. Any one of us could win the big surprise prize. Time for me to step up my game. That's the spirit, Emma. Okay, who's up to play the freeze dance game? Now that sounds like my kind of game. Dance your pants and freeze when the music stops. If you move, you lose. Surprise challenge! Whoever wins this will take home the big surprise prize! Are you ready? I sure am! I am ready! Yeah! It's time to play Stick the Tail on the Robot! Stick the Tail on the Robot? But TK always wins that game! You're right. If I play, it's not fair to all of you. So, I'm going to sit this one out and let you three play it. No, TK. If you sat out just because you're good at it, it wouldn't be fair to you. As much as we want the prize, we came here to play together. All right. Grab your tails, stand on a circle, and no peeking. <laughs> Stick that tail! Ooh, uh, sorry. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I think I'm getting close. <laughs> we have a winner! I won. You did it again! You're the champ! And the big 
surprise prize is... Whatever it is, I want to share it with all of you. I just hope it's something really good. The big surprise prize, play at home board game! Awesome! Now we can all play it on the rocket! Again and again! Yeah! I'm so glad we're sharing the prize, because playing these games wouldn't be the same if we didn't all play together. This sounds like one big mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We went to the Game Planet to play a new game. I won musical high chairs. TK and Orbit tied in the Sticky Jump Challenge. And Emma won the Freeze Dance Party game. But TK's a champ at Stick the Tail on the Robot, so she won the big surprise prize. So everybody won, and TK shared the prize, because sharing a prize feels just as good as winning a prize. You're right. Sharing does feel just as good as winning. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Sniff it out. His nose just knows. Sounds like he found it. <laughs> he did. Good work, Squeak. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> What's that noise mean? It means our ship's getting low on fuel. Fuel is what gives our rocket the power to go. Like food gives us the power to run and jump and do everything. Right? Right, Emma. I'd say cheesecake is what powers Squeak. Look at him go! What powers the rocket? We need to find geyser gas, rocket rocks, and solar seeds. Mixed together, they make rocket power. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can find fuel for the rocket. That's a very important mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The planet! You know, my greasy gears could use a good scrubbing. That might be true. But first, we need to find fuel for the rocket. Hello, planet! Yay! Sorry, but nap time will have to wait till after our mission. Power planet! I'm sure we can find rocket fuel there. Yes, power planet! Perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! more fuel just as soon as we can. A 
Okay, we need two solar seeds from a solar flower, one rocket rock with rocket power, geyser gas from the ground below, put them together and the rocket will go, go, go. Right, we'll find them faster if we split up and if we use our senses. You mean like seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, and tasting? Yes, Pop's right. For example, a solar flower smells sweet. Ooh, I'll find one. Huh? Huh? Want to help me sniff out a sweet-smelling solar flower squeak? <laughs> then let's go. <laughs> I think you should get the rocket rock, Rob. Sure. Uh, but why me? <gasps> now I know why. One rocket rock coming up. We'll get the geyser gas orbit. Uh, gas is usually stinky, so we can use our sense of smell to find it, right? Nope. Mm -hmm. Geyser gas has no smell. <laughs> Did you hear that? Come on. Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's geyser gas, all right. We can't smell it, but we can hear and see it. <laughs> this is going to be easy. of a plan B, that is. Do you smell a solar flower? Oh, where did those rascally rocks go? I can't see them anywhere. But I sure can hear them. Gotcha! are rocket fast. They must be full of energy. So, you want to play, huh? Way to go, Squeak. You did it. <laughs> I mean, your nose did it. Hmm, I can see the solar seeds, but how will we get them from way up there? Good idea. Okay. Hop up. Got him! Two solar seeds from a solar flower. Whoa! <laughs> I can feel the energy inside them. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Squeak. I was so excited, I almost forgot you. I wish those geysers weren't so noisy. I can't think. Noisy? That's it. The geysers make a noise before the gas gushes out. So we just have to listen for the pop pop popping. <laughs> that one. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Over there. That one. Why 
can't we put the fuel in now? Because the gas, the seeds, and the rock all have to go in at the same time. Then I sure hope Rob and Emma get here soon. Is this soon enough for you? Rob, you got a rocket rock. Yeah, or maybe it's got me! Whoa! Oh, but where are Emma and Squeak? Here we are! With two solar seeds full of solar energy, just like you asked. All thanks to Squeak and his super duper smell sniffer. Ooh. Quick, put the rock and the seeds in this tank. Now wait here while I fill her up. It's okay, Rocket. Tiki will have wall powered up in no time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> Rocket's back to full power. And that means mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the power planet to get fuel to fill the rocket tank. TK and Orbit had to get gas from a geyser, so they used their sense of hearing to guess which one would erupt next. Squeak used his sense of smell to help Emma find some solar seeds. So we learned that our senses can help in lots of different ways. And we all got the power our rocket needed. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. 